guys, retired at 40. As promised, I have your common freezing time and final dry time for most uh, most foods that you're most likely going to use. So I'm just going to go ahead and give you a close up of this, and then I'll freeze it on there. This uh, you can use this as a, as a reference when you want to do freeze times. Uh, most everything is on here, and the stuff that's not on here, you can usually just kind of look at something that's on here, and uh, it's if it's relatively similar, then just go ahead and use that time. Well, I hope this is helpful for you. Hopefully you can use it in the future and many times over. Or if you have any questions of something that wasn't on here, and you need a recommended freeze time and dry time, just let me know. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Retired at 40, for other freeze drying videos and other helpful videos that you can use. Until next time, this is Retired at 40. Remember to live life simple. We'll catch you next time.